Howdy gang and welcome to your 31st Vue.js tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at select box binding. Alright then, so over the last couple of tutorials we've been using some input and checkbox binding to create this form right here where we can add a new blog post. Now I want to do one more bit of binding and that is to bind to select boxes. So essentially what we want is a select box on here now to choose the author. So there might be like three or four authors and uh, we want to choose which author is actually writing this blog post. So how do we bind to select boxes? Well, it's a little bit different than checkboxes in the previous tutorial. So I'm just going to dive right in and show you how to do this now. So beneath the checkboxes div right here, what I'm going to do is add now a new label. And this is going to be for author. And then underneath this label, we're going to have a select box. So as we know, a select box looks something like this. We have a select and we have various different options in here like this. So an option for one author, an option for another author, etc. Now, you might be thinking that what we do here is say, OK, well, V model for this one is equal to, you know, name one and uh, V model for this one is equal to uh, name two whoever that is, and uh, Vue.js is just going to take care of this, add it to some kind of V model down here, and uh, yeah, it's going to do it for us. No, that's not how this works, okay? So basically, we're just going to have one option right here, and we're going to attach the V model directive to the select box itself, because this is what holds the value property. So when an option is selected right here, the select box gets the value of that option which is selected, right? So we attach the V model directive to this select box. Therefore, whatever is input into that V model, whatever uh, variable is associated with it is going to get that value. All right. So we'll say V hyphen model and set this equal to blog dot author. OK, so now we're going to attach this property on the blog object to this select box. So when we choose an option, whatever the value is in here of that option is going to be assigned to this property right here. Okay, so first of all, let's add this author property to the blog object down here. So author is going to be like so. All right, then. So now we might have, say, for example, three different authors in here, right? Now, I mean, we might not know which options or which authors we've got, and we might store them all on some kind of data object. And this is probably the best way to do this. So I'm going to delete these. And instead of hard coding anything, what we're going to do is loop through some different authors on a data object, which we're going to define and output some options. OK, so let's go down here and do that. What I'm going to do is come outside of the blog object right now, because we're not going to store this on the blog. It's kind of just to give us some functionality to kind of populate those options. And what I'm going to do here is say authors. And this is going to be an array, OK? And it's going to hold whichever authors we want to output to the form. So let's think of some names. First of all, me, the net ninja. And then we'll do the angular avenger. Yep. And then let's do something to do with view, uh, the view vindicator. Can I spell? No, vindicator. OK. Cool. So now we have our authors right there. And what we want to do is cycle through these authors and output them as options right here. So how are we going to do this? Well, same again, we're just going to use V4. So I can attach the V4 directive right here and I can say author in authors. This time, remember, it's not blog to authors because we stored it outside of the blog. It's this thing right here. So it's just authors. OK, and we're going to output the author each time around. So now what is going to happen is it's going to output all three of those authors as options right here. And whichever one we select is going to be assigned to this property right here. We bound to this select uh, kind of field right on the V model directive. So if I save this now and view it in a browser, we're going to see this select box right here with these three, uh, three things in here. Now I could select one, but again, we want to preview it. So now let's add it to the preview field. And this is going to be relatively simple. All we're going to do is a paragraph tag and say author and then output blog dot author because we're just storing one of them, right? So if now I select, for example, the Angular Avenger, we see it right there. If I select the Net Ninja, we see it and we can change it over and over again. 
Okay, so my friends, that is how we bind to select boxes. We attach the V model to the select tag itself and we assign it some kind of property. Then we can use V4 to cycle through any kind of options to dynamically output our different authors like that. Whichever option we select, this gets the value of that option, okay? So there we go, that's it for kind of binding to different form fields. In the next tutorial, what I wanna do now is move on and take a look at view HTTP so we can start communicating at some point to some kind of database, okay? So I'll see you in the very next tutorial.